ashamed of the person I was. But that person would be ashamed of who I am today. I can't be a man anymore. It's too much. Do you think I'm a bad person? All these years spent playing a game I was never even good at. My friends haven't logged on in years. Are they ever coming back? Sometimes when I try to log off, it's like there's a voice inside my head telling me to keep playing. Ending. It's really ending. It's the end of an era. I'm gonna miss this game. All these years playing a game. I was never even good at. In 12 hours, the server will shut down. I'll never be able to play this game again. It was my life. My obsession. This game ruined my life. I've been waiting years for this moment. Can anyone hear me? Someone please help me. Please help me. Hey, you're online? Yeah. Where are you? I'm in the dead zone. Let's meet in Shady Acres. Okay, I'm on my way to you. Yes, I have extra. You're extra. I took off work to experience the last 12 hours. How long has it been? Years? I'm surprised to have logged on and found you were still playing this game. I returned one last time to this game.
this area is off limits, so fuck off. <laughs> kill myself. I wish I never played this game. playing this game for 12 years now. It cost me my marriage. I don't even see my kids anymore because on weekends I'm in the game searching for Adam. We always suspected something like this would happen, but I don't think we were prepared for it. The reality of it. I always hoped one day I'd have kids and be able to share this game with them. But it looks like that's not going to happen now. Shut the fuck up. Oh, get the fuck out of here, homie! <laughs> we're dancing, we're fucking dancing. <laughs> Thank you.
myself in the bathroom, something came in the room. Um, it sounded like at first the emergency alert signal in the other room. And then some horrible cry, like a dying animal. I passed out from choking on the rope attached to the shower curtain bar. But that broke. And when I woke up, I could still hear the crying. And I tried to hang myself on the um, towel rack, but that didn't work. So I opened the door to the hotel room, and as soon as I did, the noise went away. I don't know what it was. Fucking resistance checkpoints. It's probably just a bunch of kids. Where are you two furries going? I put anal beads on my ass and now they're stuck there. <laughs> I have anal beads stuck in my ass. I thought I'd fuck myself with a hungry bulldoze. You guys can go through, just... We're looking out for Nazis and Cenobites. There was a lot that led me to that moment. I believed I might be the reincarnation of Hitler. I would just sit in my car before class and cry and apologize to Anne Frank and all the victims of the Holocaust. Then, I thought I was the reincarnation of Jesus. According to the Bible, he's the only one who won't be forgiven. I thought I was the Antichrist. I believed an age of enlightenment was coming, and I was being excluded from it. I feared my arms would turn into horrible knives that would stab this girl I liked in the vagina. She would just be kept alive in horrible pain, getting stabbed in the vagina until the universe ended. Then she would become God, swimming in an ocean of her own blood. And this ocean would be a sea of knowledge, and I would go into a state of ignorance. And this would just happen over and over again, forever. I was really ashamed. I definitely feel for you. These last few years sound like they were really hard for you. But you can't just blame it all on reaching level 99. You're gonna have to make peace with the fact that we probably will never find Adam. I mean, a lot of players thought that finding Adam would give them ultimate power in the game, and other players like you think it's a way to stop what they consider a curse. But it's just a psychosis. Adam was just a rumor, nothing more. We wasted our time. When I, uh, when I was in the mental institution, I met this man who could predict what the TV was going to say. And, um, I asked him if I liked the future, and he told me I was going to hate it. This game was really a lot better before they added Nazis as a playable faction. It was really a welcoming community. It's a safe space. Yeah, the community was a lot less toxic before they added Nazis as players. I thought more people from our guild would be online than Glenn Lowens. Yeah, I don't know. It's been years since most of them have played this game. It's just that... I'm in my 30s now and I still live with my parents. To make matters worse, they gaslight me into thinking my dysphoria is actually a symptom of my schizophrenia. I mean, if you say you're a woman, then you're a woman. So this is the throwaway age. This is the age that's kind of, it's only meaningful for God and not for man. It really isn't meaningful, because we're all going to die, and all our memories are going to disappear. We're going to lose everything, everything. But there's another prophecy that has to be fulfilled before that happens, and that's my death. I'm going to find one person that gets angry enough to kill me. <laughs> I love this game, but I ruined my life playing it. You can't look at it that way. You'll drive yourself crazy if you do. I played this game so much, I failed out of college. I still can't believe this game's ended. Yeah, it's really weird to think about. Being a furry, um, many of us have our sexual awakening to family films like Space Jam, or a Goofy Movie, or uh, Zootopia, and it's uh, very weird to think about the fact that family films do this to us. The dog girl in a Goofy Movie, 
and being very turned on by her at a very young age. And even if you go online today, there's a lot of pornographic content that centers around these children's characters from these family films. I know what you're saying. Um, I have macrophilia, which is a uh, fetish for giants. And um, ever since I could remember when I watched movies like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, I was turned on by that. I remember the part where the dad almost eats the uh, son in a bowl of cereal. And I would just rewind that part over and over again. I watched it so much I wore out the tape. I don't know, my mom told me the first movie I saw was Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. And um, I, hate, I hate to think that a Disney movie caused that attraction. Dante's Inferno, one of the worst circles of hells where sinners are chewed alive in the mouth of a giant saint for eternity. I remember reading it for high school English and masturbating to that part over and over again. It's really fucked up. I was literally jerking off to hell and it fucking scares me. Why is everyone getting banned? What the fuck is going on? Whoa. 